everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. I hope this video helps you de-stress that one part of your holidays that is stressing you out just a little bit. Now, I love stockings and I think about stocking stuffers all the time. I'm looking at Pinterest, trying to figure out really good ideas, especially when you're trying to do them year after year after year. I think kids are not terribly difficult, but adults are really hard because you want to get things that people will use, that people like, and that they're not just going to stick in a drawer. So I'm showing you guys what I got my father-in-law and mother-in-law in their stockings, and I think I show you guys what I got my mom as well a little bit in the stockings. It's very similar to my mother-in-law. And I hope this gives you guys some good ideas. I hope this takes away some of that stress of the holiday season and you can go out and buy one or two things. Tips I have for stockings is if you don't know what to get that person, get them one or two bigger good things. Instead of just going to the dollar store and getting a bunch of like junk, get one or two really good things and fill the rest with candy or fill the rest with their favorite snack of some kind um i think that i think that in general is so much better than just going to the dollar store and getting a bunch of things that they're going to throw away or they're not really going to use so that is my one tip but without further ado i will show you guys what is in the stockings this year if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you don't miss a thing um, these are the stockings that I made. My son actually sewed the edge, and I bought them as a kit from Michaels, so they were super easy to put together, no big deal. This is all um, like foam, and it's all stick, as you can tell. So you just peel off the back and stick it on. Um, the bells and the eyes, though, I actually did have to hot glue. Um, I'm sure you could use tacky glue, but everything else stuck on. They even gave you a little plastic needle to sew around the edges. I thought this was neat that he actually could do it. He's 10, and I would say, oh my goodness, he could have probably done this from the time he was five. It was so easy. And I thought it was a really nice touch, and I just thought they were super cute. So if you want to give a stocking to somebody, I thought this was more personal than just buying one and about the same price i want to say these came as a kit for maybe five dollars i mean they weren't expensive i did watch for the sale and buy them when they were 50 percent off so but i thought they were so cute so on to the stocking stuffers so i am potential i am actually packing everything so i have just stuff on the table this is all for my father-in-law and I was trying to find different kind of things for stocking stuffers, so I tried to find different kind of candy. These are pretzel rods that I definitely could have made, but I bought them at Target and um, just used them for kind of a variety of things. They were kind of a big pack. Um, I got each one of my mom and my in-laws each a nice covered chocolate covered pretzel. That was actually from Target too. I picked, I picked these uh, Jack Daniels uh whiskey pecans uh because we like um the candied pecans and i thought this would be a fun different kind of treat and they were uh just a few dollars at world market I actually picked these up at world market too usually get these on a plane and so i thought they were just kind of a different treat i know you can buy them at walmart now as, as well but i thought they were different and stockings i if i'm gonna do candy i like putting different candy in there uh, this actually came from the Target uh, Bullseye Zone dollar spot. Uh, it actually does have the price, so it's five dollars. Who could always use a power pack, a juice pack? Anybody, everybody. So I thought that was perfect. This actually came from Target as well. It was three dollars for both of them, and it's a men's face wash and shave lotion. Um, I don't know exactly if it's something my father-in-law is gonna love, but. Um, I know it's something he would never buy for himself. And I'm actually going to get a Harry's razor. That's like a name brand razor and put in here. And then I did pick up the Ziploc bags that are Christmas. And I put it inside here because this came in a really big box. And I wanted to be able to put everything in a stocking and then put the stocking in the box. This was something I kind of bought and handcrafted. So this is a hot chocolate stick. Um, with peppermint on it. It's like a biscotti stick, I think, underneath. 
And I just thought it was pretty and I tied this ribbon around two things of hot chocolate that I actually already had because we always have a stash of hot chocolate. And I thought if they were here for Christmas, we'd be drinking hot chocolate all the time. This was something that my husband actually picked out at Kohl's. This was a little more pricey. Um, this was actually a, a dollar, I think. It wasn't very expensive. Um, this was maybe $10. I can't, honestly don't remember. And I remember thinking that would be too much, but I did like that I felt like he could use it. So it's this tool, kind of a 20 in one tool. And honestly, like if you're looking for stuff for men, check out the tools, um, the small tools, and look places like Kohl's, even like Lowe's. I've gotten some amazing, cool little tool type of things um, just in the bins that they keep out at the holidays. They keep out really cool things. So I actually got this one. He could um, clip it on, and I don't know. It does a whole bunch of things, I guess. My husband picked this out thought it was good, thought he should have it. The last thing that I've been recently putting in Christmas stockings that I feel like is a really good thing and forever I thought was so impersonal was gift cards. But honestly, don't y'all, you know, get to the your end of the week, you're tired, you don't wanna cook, or you really wanna eat lunch out, you really don't wanna make yourself lunch, you ran late that day. You know, I feel like gift cards are nice for that because when you don't wanna spoil yourself, somebody else is spoiling you. And so I know that they have kind of an impersonal thing to them, but I feel like they're a good idea. So I got him a couple gift cards with like lunch in mind, like lunch at work is what I was kind of thinking. So I got him two $15 gift cards. And I know if you went to these places as well, you could get even cheaper ones like $10. My mom always sends my son $5 ones for McDonald's because she actually goes in and buys them. I got these at Target just because I happen to be there. And yeah, so that is gonna be his stocking. I actually got him one more thing and I will show you guys. So I know this is a, a huge stocking stuffer. I actually have to send it in a separate box, but it was something that my husband saw and this would actually be um, a really cool gift. I wanna say, I don't even remember how much it was. 20 something, I don't even know. Maybe 30, I can't remember. I remember thinking it was more, but my husband thought it was neat. It's a wireless cooler so you can play music through the cooler speakers. Um, and because of my father-in-law's job and things like that, I think he thought that it would be really good for him and he picked it out. And I feel like sometimes when guys pick stuff out, we should listen to them because I just tend to not to, I don't know. Does everybody else do that? But I feel like, I feel like this was a really good gift. Um, this could have served as actually like a regular gift. We actually, for regular gifts, ended up giving them kind of a date night. So that's another idea for you guys. Um, I just get a nice card and I put a, uh, a movie gift card and a restaurant gift card in the nice card and say, hey, go have a date on us. Because I think sometimes, you know, you don't treat yourself or you feel guilty about it, things like that. It's always nice to go have a date and every relationship needs that. It doesn't matter how long you've been together. So um, this was just kind of an add-on to his stocking stuff because my um, mother-in-law, I feel like I got her more things, but it, she was just easier to shop for because I'm a girl and it's easier to shop for girls. But I thought this was really neat. We got this at Kohl's as well. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit different, and so these are my mother-in-law's stocking stuffers. I ended up getting my mom similar things and I'll kind of tell you guys the difference, but I ended up um, sending her box already because I was afraid it wasn't gonna get there in time. So yeah, let's. I'll show you guys about this. Most of the stuff came from Kohl's or Target. That was just where I was shopping on those days. I think some Walmart too. So um, these candies I actually got these for my mom as well, and they came from World Market. Oh, so I lied already. <laughs> Some came from World Market. Uh, these came from World Market. They were the same as what I got my father-in-law. 
and um, they're just a fun thing to put over coffee and I thought they were just different kind of candy. I like the idea of putting, especially in adult stockings, putting different kind of candy instead of just buying a thing of M&Ms or something like that. I gave her a pretzel as well, like a nice pretzel. Um, and these were probably around a dollar a piece, nothing crazy. I got her a power pack as well because I thought this was such a good idea. You always need it. Um, and it seems to be you forget one, you lose one, you know, all the things that actually came from Target as well. So I put in two facial masks. I really wanted to kind of give her like a little bit of a spa feel because we all need that as women. Like we should you know, hopefully do some self-care and things like that. I think that's so important for us as women because we've, we're just taking care of everyone else all the time. And um, so I got her two facial masks because I didn't really know um, what specifically would be good for her because she has, like, awesome skin. Oh, my goodness. Like, I'm so jealous of it. But, yeah, the um, I got these both from Walmart. I got these really fuzzy. I wish y'all could feel these. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. They're aloe infused socks. I got these from Kohl's. I want to say, I want to say these were maybe like $5. These were a little more expensive. Usually I get the Walmart ones. I did get my mom some Walmart ones as well because um, I didn't like any of the colors they had at Kohl's, but I knew that my mother-in-law would like this blue color and it actually comes with two pairs of socks. So aloe infused socks, I feel like you can never go wrong with that for any, any women. So this is more of like a name brand kind of perfume. I want to say this was um, about $15. So it was equivalent to getting like the tool thing for my father-in-law. And um, I really like this actual scent. I've always liked it for, oh my gosh, probably 15 years now. I really, really like it. DKNY. So good, the Be Delicious, the green one. Oh, it's so good. I really don't like um, the other colors though. And with her, before I get show you that, I kind of did a similar thing for some self-care here. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, it's not right. So I got an EOS pack. So if you guys can see, it says EOS. So this was sweet mint and it's a lotion. This is like a hand lotion and this is like a chapstick. And I thought that this would be really good, kind of some self care, some nicer lotion that you usually don't buy for yourself, especially like they live in the desert. So I wanted to get something that was really um, good for dry skin. Um, I really enjoy the EOS brand. I feel like it's really a good brand. Uh, especially for a gift and I put it in one of these holiday Ziploc bags and I thought that was perfect because the box for this was ridiculous so I took it out of the box. So as long as I explain this to them and let them know it, it is absolutely brand new I'm sure that they won't care. Um, they're wonderfully nice people. The other thing I picked up for her is something that I love to get in general. I love to get these shower fizzes. My husband bought me some one time that were amazing and I've just been hooked ever since. I know they sell them like at Bath and Body Works and other places like that. These ones I found at Kohl's, they were actually a really good price. I should have picked these up for my mom. I ended up having to order her another pack on Amazon and so I should have gotten just another pack for her. I think these were seven, maybe six or seven dollars. So keep that in mind. And a lot of people do cheaper stuff for stockings. So don't be intimidated by just getting one or two like uh, expensive things or pricier things and getting, you know, little things that were a dollar or more candy or something like that. Everybody loves stocking stuff. I did the same thing for her with the hot chocolate and the peppermint stick, and I think that is just so fun. I already had this ribbon, so I just tied it together. Hopefully it will stay. Uh, for her gift cards, I wasn't 100% sure, to be honest, what to get. And so I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go with some easy favorites, right? So Starbucks and Cold Stone. Now I figured that... If, I wasn't 100% sure if she was a Starbucks fan, but if not, I'm sure that my father-in-law will take this and use it because I know they drink coffee, I think. So um, when in doubt, ice cream, easy, no big deal. And you know what? I feel like Cold Stone is great because that's not something that you would just 
by every night or anything like that and I really wanted to do something different instead of like fast food ones for her but you could have done easily Sonic or any fast food restaurant anything like that and it would have been just as good maybe even like Dunkin Donuts or something like that I just thought these would be good so I got two $15 ones for her the last thing which is kind of like a bigger gift I can I guess you could say is I got her they go kind of together I got her like an adult coloring book and this one has all these wonderful pretty pictures in it and I just thought it'd be really fun and it's something that does promote relaxation picked up some colored pencils and thought you know what it's definitely a different gift I wouldn't say it would be for everyone but I thought at least that I was trying and I was trying to think out of the box and I think um, just the fact that you're thinking of somebody and trying to think of something different to get them is the key to stockings in general so that is her stocking lest this I'm gonna wrap it separate I hope a few of these ideas were really nails on the head for you and I hoped that they gave you some good ideas as you go through looking for things this holiday season. I know sometimes holidays can be super stressful and guys don't stress. Just get what you think is best, make a decision and more than likely people are going to love whatever you pick out and if it's something that you would want for yourself more than likely they would want it for themselves as well. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll see y'all in my next brand new video. Bye for now.